Now we're ready to do some coding through examples that will allow us to use a variety of the blocks available in all of the categories. And we'll show some of the uses that you might use blots for in your settings. Okay. Before I get to coding some of the examples, I'm going to press the ID button once again so I can make sure I know which one is my splat number one and which one is my splat number two. In this case, the IDs are showing that these two are splat one and splat two. I'm going to write a simple voting machine, which was inspired by some of the young splatters activities that we've observed in the classrooms so far. <laughs> to get started, I'm going to have when program starts block. There are typically two ways to start an unruly creation by using the starting category when one of the splats is pressed or when the program starts, which you can do by pressing the run button in the app. When the program starts, I'm going to go to the lights category and I'm going to light splat one with the color green and I'm going to do something here. Instead of going back to the category, I'm going to do a shortcut. By long pressing on the block that I just put that says light splat one, I get a context menu that gives me the option to duplicate it. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I also have a second light splat one with color green block wow. that is connected. I'm going to modify the second one to be light splat two, and I'm going to change the color to blue. Fancy. Okay. So I have, I'm testing my work here as I go, because you can work and you can test things out on the fly. You see that? The code that I wrote so far is working. On splat one, there's green. On splat two, there's blue. Now I want something to happen when splat one is pressed. I'd like to go to the scoring category and I will change the score for splat one by one point. That means that when this splat is pressed or stepped on or dropped on, the score on the app, which appears next to the virtual splat, will change by one. That means a vote has been counted for splat number one, which is the green color. Now, in this case, I'm going to do the same trick I just did by long pressing the when splat one pressed block and hitting the duplicate option. And this time, because there were two blocks connected, it duplicated two blocks, saving me time from going to the category and getting those blocks. And now what I have to do is change the one to a two that says when splat two is pressed. Then I would also change when Splat 2 is pressed, change the score for Splat 2 by one point as well. That means that anybody who I ask a question to, such as, is this Dr. Splat video cool? Yes! Then step on green. If you don't think it's cool, then step on blue. blue. So as I run this, I think this video is pretty cool. I'm going to step on the green one. And you can see that in this app, Next to splat number one, there's now a score of one, which means it has one vote. Now, I think that Splatsy also thinks that this video is cool. And another green vote. Now there's two. However, if someone doesn't think that the video is cool, they can step on the blue one. And I get a vote that's against so this is a way to make a simple voting machine, and I'm going to save it so that I could come back to it, make it different, maybe add sounds or things that you can explore by extending this project. I'm going to save it as voting machine, and it will be in my unruly creations along with other projects we make. In the voting game, notice that there's a when program starts block and there are two when splat pressed blocks. 
be mindful that these do two different things. When program starts, immediately runs as soon as you press the run button in the app. When splat pressed, you can press the run button and you may not see any activity or any action. And those are only triggered when a splat is sent. So if you're not noticing anything, be mindful that you could be meaning to have a when program starts, but actually have a when splat pressed. So always pay attention to those because it alleviates a lot of confusion as you're working on your own programs or helping others. start working on your splat coding it's good to set up your space and put your splats that you're going to work with I'm going to work with six splats today let's see Just looking for that Okay, six splats. Don't try this at home with your code kids. <laughs> 